Okay, boys and girls, today we're going to cover the Ameritron AL82 amplifier. And the reason I got the case off today is because I wanted to showcase the inside of this amp because it is pristinely virgin. It's insanely clean. It was owned by a non smoker. And uh, it came to me to get the bias Zener diodes replaced. One of them went out when he had a tube collapse. So these are brand new. Amprex 3500Z tubes. Of course, I wanted to showcase this. It's an actual Peter Dahl. This amplifier is spotless on the inside. Absolutely spotless. Alright, so let's hop right into the testing. Got the band switch set at 80. I didn't really see a whole need to go down to 160. So we're going to cover 80 through the aux position, which yes, it's been modified to work in the aux position, which would be 10, 11 meters. <clears throat> no lightning bolt struck me down. All right, we're good to go. So, 3800, we're on AM. I got a 100 watt slug in the Birdo. We're working in peak today. And oh, so we're swinging about 20 watts into it. And we're going to grab the coaxial dynamics 1000 watt slug, put it in the hole, key the box, and oh, lay that in the corner. No effort whatsoever. Go ahead and put the 5K slug in its spot, key the amp, and oh. So that's showing us doing about 1100 watts. All right. So now I'm going to reset for 40. Give me just a second. Be right back. Okay, so we went ahead. We reset for 40. Band switches in 40. Retune the plate. Redid the, the load. Overcoupled. Audio. So we're about 45 into it. Let's put the 100 watt slug out again. The 1000 watt slug in there for the show. The flash. So we can see the needle swing. Step on the pedal, and oh. All right, over in the corner once again. And oh. So, showing us doing about 1100 watts once again. But please note, I'm not running the radio to its full potential into the amplifier, and there's no point seeing this thing do a whole bajillion of watts when it's obviously working great in all modes. And let's face it, it's either going to get used here or it's going to get used here. <laughs> so, <clears throat> that being said, we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump over. We're going to work on 20 meters next. Okay. So now sitting on 20. 20. I don't want slug. Yeah. So now we're swinging about 80 into it. 1000 watt slug. Head oh. In the corner. 5K slug. Head oh. Head oh. 11, 1200 again. All right, let's go to the Notella mode. Let's jump right over that 15 and 17 and get on to aux. Be right back. Okay, so reset. And now we're in the Notella mode. Auxiliary secret position. We're not gonna pay attention to what frequency's on the little ICOM 706. And by the way, if you ever need any help knowing how to Mars mod one of these, or even its bigger brother, the 7000, or even how to make the 7000 louder. Let me know and I'll help you out. Anyhow, audio. So we're going to swing about 120 watts into it. We'll drive it up the legal limit. Not for where we're at, but we're going to run right on in the legal limit. 1000 watt slug PEP mode. Head on in the corner. Okay. One X PEP five thousand watt slug. Head 
Hello. Hello, BDI. 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 I'm really disappointed to see this one go. This is a nice amp. It's in really, 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 really good condition. It's super clean. I said brand new tubes. I mean, there's not a spot of dirt on it. The case looks like brand freaking new. Non smoker owner. There's the back of the amp. Ameritron ALA eighty two amplifier. Hello. Hello. And that's with hundred and twenty watts worth of drive. As we all know you can push them harder, get more watts. There's no point for this video. Give me a call. I want to sell you an amp. Bump bump BBI.